In tonight's top story, the COVID-19 pandemic has re-energized the push to make sure all Americans have internet access, and that includes in rural areas across the country, including here in North Dakota. KX News reporter Robert Sur has more on new efforts to bring more Americans online. As the coronavirus pandemic continues to surge across the country, as well as in North Dakota, more and more of us are working from home and learning from home, which means many of us need fast and reliable Internet. Those in Washington seem to realize this concern as the House recently passed what they call the Accessible Affordable Internet for All Act, which is part of a much larger infrastructure package. Broadband access is considered infrastructure, even back in 2017, Governor Burgum stressed its importance following a meeting at the White House. And we need to take the politics out of infrastructure because great infrastructure is good for everybody in America. And he's right. And we're lucky here in North Dakota as Internet speeds are nearly three times the national average and three quarters of rural North Dakotans have access to fiber broadband. Now, the FCC says high speed Internet is anything over 25 megabytes a second but things can still be better. Our companies, the Broadband Association of North Dakota members, serve 96% of the geographic territory of the state. However, still in the Red River Valley, uh, in the western part of the state, there are a handful of places that do not have it. If passed into law, the bill would allocate $80 billion for broadband infrastructure, while also providing $5 billion to support remote learning for students without Internet access, and an additional billion in grants to state governments, which would encourage people to sign up for broadband if and when it becomes available in their area. And that's well-needed money, as getting broadband access to some rural customers can cost upwards of $40,000 per mile. You go into rural North Dakota, where we have a density that, that ranges from 0.5 individuals per square mile out in the western part of the state, closer to two to three per square mile, it gets to be a very, very expensive proposition. The North Dakota Association of Rural Electric Cooperatives also assists in getting broadband access to rural parts of the state and says everyone should have access in these trying times. It's extremely important that we have everybody connected, especially when we are in these emergency times where um, the option is to work virtually or to learn virtually. We need to find those ways to connect people affordably so that everybody has access. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Robert Sir. We reached out to North Dakota's Republican senators about the plan. While he didn't comment on this specific bill, Senator Kramer has backed bipartisan support for broadband assistance during the pandemic. Senator John Hoven tells us he's concerned about the cost of the Democrats' plan, but looks forward to having bipartisan discussions with his colleagues on infrastructure. Mandan businesses are...